before I get into this, um, I'm just going to go through some prices and features of the Rider and the Topeak DA underscore G. So the Rider, just go from this side, it's £10 about, uh, can go up to 120 PSI, and that's pretty much all it is. It's got a quite standard fold-out grip, it's not the comfiest, and it can go to Presta, but it's, it's a bit old, my one. So it can, it's just, I haven't changed it, because this is quite an old pump. It's got the locking feature like all pumps do, and on the toe peak, it has more of a grippier feeling. It's got a cap, it's got the gauge, which can go up to 60 PSI or 4 bar, whichever you use. It's double action, so if I can just show you here, I'm going to put my thumb over this, and I'm going to pull it out, and you're going to see the pressure gauge increase, and when I push it in, pressure gauge increases again so let's get into the video I'm using the green beast it's my brother's bike I've completely flattened both tires not puncturing it but just letting out the air just to make it a fair test it started raining and I'm gonna start my test so this is the budget line one on the front tire and the um, more costly one which is the Topeak dual action gauge and that's the rider I don't know what, probably just the standard one. Got my phone for the stopwatch and I will see which one pumps faster. Let's go. So, get ready, steady, go. I'm gonna pump at a consistent speed so it's a fair test. And I'm gonna go by feel. There we go, done. Stop at 50 seconds, flat or 49. Don't know, I'll get a freeze frame of that. And there's a split on the screen, like somewhere here. That's one tire pumped up. Now we're gonna get to the back tire and we're gonna reset the time and we're gonna get ready. So I got, I got them both pre charged in one pump, one well, like, you know, just to start it. So it was a fair test. And three, two, one. I can already feel this one's almost done. Just feel for comparison. No, nope, almost set. That's yeah, pretty solid. That's pretty solid. And time. So that was about 30 seconds because I took. You know how to touch there and touch there. So, 30 seconds to compare to 50 seconds as a difference. And if you look in the size difference of it, let me if I can get it out quick without ruining this guard. Come on, look at the size difference of the canister. You can see a way bigger um, air volume in this one than this one because this is the the whole pump here if you look this this is actually like stationary and this is the actual cylinder you can see that the air volume is way smaller it's about a good inch and this one is just a slight bit like say two mils thicker in diameter and yeah that's my test. Guys, I cleaned up, my dad and I cleaned up our garage as it looked terrible. So we are using the bike stand to hold this bike up and using the track standing machine to hold that bike up. We got a sup board from my uncle. Well, it's not ours, we're just keeping it here. Uh, and we got this for all our tools. It's pretty sick. 